All right, we're going to now talk about analyzing woofs or well-formed formulas. And we're going to start out by repeating a little bit about the last part of our lesson where we talked about negation. Negation is to, uh, to use the not operator. And if you remember, the not operator can look either like a squiggly line called a tilde, or it can look like crazy little minus sign with a thing on it. Remember, here's our not monster. So this is this is a not operator. And I just wanted to go over that uh, how a not operator can work because it actually is a little more uh, powerful than some of the other operators. It works uh, a little in that it works a little differently. It can actually change things over an extended period. Uh, we know that, for instance, if we have John and we have Mary, and we decide to make a placeholder for John being J and for Mary M, we could say not John, right? We could say not John. We could also say not John and Mary. We'd start by saying John and, right? We have our and, Mary, and if you recall, we could also say John and, we put them under a little house, right they're going to live under one roof so they're and mary and then we use some parentheses right these little parentheses or these little walls right they create a room and everybody who lives in the room kind of lives under the same rules so we can actually say not john and mary and not john and mary we could also say john or mary right and we could use our little u operator And we could have John or Mary, and we can use our little V. And remember, this guy right here and this one here, this little V, you can think of it like a ditch, remember? And you have to hop on one side. So you either have to go on the side with John or, right? Or you have to go on the side with Mary. And you could negate that. So you could say, not John or Mary. Not John or Mary. Or, and what we'll probably do for this lesson and when I'm drawing is I'll probably actually use the little squiggly line because it's a little easier for me to draw clearly and repeatedly. Though I did a pretty decent job here with these little the little fanged knot monster. Okay, so that's negation and it can go through things. Uh, it can go through parentheses and it hangs on to anything that is inside, inside one of these uh, punctuations, right, for these formulas or it just attaches itself to the nearest thing. So we could just say, uh, you know, we could put in parentheses, we'd have not John, and we could say and Mary, or let's say Ralph, right? R for Ralph. So in this case, it's just not John. It's not John and Mary, it's just not John and we have Mary or Ralph. Okay, so that's negation. So we'll pick up from there and we'll talk about analyzing whiffs, which is the process of figuring out how they were made.